Hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of Factorio. Alright, last episode we got super speedy. <laughs> so cool, I love how fast we run now, it's amazing. Yeah, we got this uh, armor, power armor mark 2, and we filled it with a bunch of goodies. Um, I don't know if I need as many batteries as I put in there. Maybe I need even another one. Right here I could fit another and another there. Don't really know if I need them. Also, while I was um, editing my video, I realized early on in the episode I mentioned... Uh, where are they? Is it... Oh, these. Personal laser defense. And then I never ended up making one. Um, I really did want to check those out at some point. Uh, this is a 2x2. Two two, is that... Yeah, dimensions 2x2. Two so yeah, if I put this over there, I could put one in there. I don't think one would be terribly effective, but maybe I could replace some RoboPorts or something. Or maybe, could you have different armors with different stuff in them and just swap out the armor? That might work. Um, but anyway, so yeah, maybe you could have like a combat armor and then a building armor or something like that. Um, we do have these now too, destroyer capsules. I said very long time ago that I wanted to check those out. Um, what does this say? Destroyer capsule thrown, range 25, throwing speed, creates five destroyers. Robot lifetime is 120 seconds. Wow, so you have to spend a speed module and four distractor capsules to... Uh, use this thing and it's only good for two minutes. Wow. That almost doesn't seem worth it. But I guess at some point we, want, we might want to check those out. Also, we have uranium rounds now. Which requires uranium-238, which I don't even have any idea how to get that yet. And then uranium cannon shells and explosive uranium cannon shells. Um, yeah, you guys also told me I should try out these explosive cannon shells in the tank. I tried these regular ones and didn't go so well for me. <laughs> but maybe these ones would be better, I don't know. Um, anyway, um, I'm sure you guys are desperate for me to get going on the mall. But again, I don't think we're going to do that today. So sorry. <laughs> uh... But um, what we are going to do, well, first of all, what we're going to do is get rid of some junk in our inventory up here. Let's get rid of this wood. Uh, these solar panels. I don't, I mean, I have room. Should I put these in there? I do have the room. I guess we'll just put them in there. I don't know if that's necessary, but anyway, they're in there. Okay, and then we'll put our old armor in there. And I guess I'll make another chest. Oh, I had a steel chest. Oh, well. Um, what else? Maybe the concrete. I think I had that because the uh, artillery cannons required it or something or the explosives did I don't remember something needed that but I don't need it at the moment all right um the rest of this stuff I will go try to get rid of um in chests like where they're where they normally should go instead of in a junk chest okay well I can't put the walls in there I wonder if I should limit this a bit now since we don't need any more walls for the time being um shoot yeah can't really do anything with those walls I guess can we just upgrade the chest by placing it like that yeah that works all right and then we'll add these in there gun turrets I'll hold on to those just in case Something drastic happens and I need them. Iron rods. Do I have any room? Yeah, I could put those in here. Um, 
And actually, I need to look up what I want to actually do. So I didn't even tell you guys yet what I want to do. What I want to do is um, add bots to all the walls so that um, if they get damaged by biters, they can be repaired. And I need to figure out how that actually works because I'm not sure yet. Um, actually, we're probably going to need walls for that then, aren't we? So I didn't even need to put these away. Let me just take like... I don't know. Maybe that many. And we'll just go down there and see how it works. Um, I still have 100 wood. Let's go get rid of these low density structures. Oh, but uh, yeah, I'm still getting sidetracked yet again. Yeah, I need these things, the robo ports. Um, so let's make, I think I'm gonna need a whole bunch of these. Should I make an assembler for these? Yeah, I probably should, huh? Are these gonna take iron gear wheels? Yeah, they are, no. Don't make iron gear wheels. Please no. I have a bajillion of those. There we go. Okay. And I already had 26, so whatever. That's fine. Uh, we have some inserters. Not too many of the fast inserters or stack inserters, though. That requires extra stuff. All right, um, that's fine. We'll worry about that later. Problem is, I kind of ran out of space down here. Um, there's red circuits here. What else is on this belt? Oh, the concrete. Yeah, this is for the artillery. Um, so what was it? Iron gear wheels and steel plates. I have all those things right here. So maybe we'll just add one. I think just one would be fine. And then let's get a, do I even have one? I don't think I do. I was gonna say a filter inserter. Well, if I do this, I think that will only give me the red circuits, right? I believe that should be how it works. Oh, we're out of power poles too. Man. All right. Well, at least we run faster now. So it doesn't take as long to get across the base now. I had a copper chest back here somewhere. Two of them actually right here. Iron sticks. Oh, it's making iron sticks. Don't make iron sticks. No, you're still making iron sticks. Don't do that. All right, there we go. That should be fine. Okay, so let's get our power pull up here and see if this works. I think it will. Oh, no, it doesn't. Darn it. Okay, well, stop. Does it grab from the near side then? And it only places on the far side? What about if we did it up here? Okay. Is it only grab from the opposite side? Maybe, that might work. Okay, so if that's the case, then we just have to run these like this. Get an inserter and a long inserter. Tell this to make robo ports. Like so. And get our output. Wow, it's gonna take me a while to get used to running so fast. It's nuts. 
we might be running too fast. No, I'm sure I'll get used to it, but it will be an adjustment for sure. Um, wow, okay, it takes a lot. Man, um, this is not going to be great. How could I... How could I speed this up? Um, I guess what I have to do is run this, um, or no, that could be there, but this one needs to go, uh, like that, I think. And then I can do two fast inserters. Or maybe even stack inserters. Because how much? It takes 45 of each. Yeah, maybe we need stack inserters. I don't know. Like that. Stack does how many at a time? Four plus, or well, one plus four. And these are one plus one. Okay, yeah. Man, look at also how many artillery we have. That's crazy. I don't know if we'll ever even use that many. Maybe someday. All right, well, that is working. We've got RoboPorts now. Uh, let's limit this to, I don't know. I don't know how big these stack. Is there any way to find out how much they stack? It should say stack size in here, in my opinion. Somewhere on this info panel, it should say stack size is whatever. Devs, if you're watching. Yeah, right. No no devs are going to watch my, my channel. But anyway, that would be a nice thing to have on this uh, little info panel pop-up thing all right so yeah we're gonna need lots of these um and we're gonna need chests i guess i need to reread or re-watch the um tips because i'm not entirely sure which ones i need for this particular case i guess it would be a storage chest then that's what they show here storage chest stores the items taken oh from player trash slots and deconstruction orders any items in the storage chests are also provided to be used for logistic or construction orders storage chests can be filtered to only accept one type of item okay that sounds like that would work then but what if I do a passive provider chest? Supplies its items to the logistic network. This means any items in the passive provider chests can be taken by robots to fulfill logistic or construction orders. I guess either one of these would work. I guess the downside to using a storage chest is that if I ever have something in my trash slots, it go here, which I don't really want. So yeah, let's do, what's the difference between passive and active? Actively tries to push its items to the logistic network. Oh, okay. So it tries to empty it all the time. So yeah, we don't want that. Cause we don't want this. We don't want our chests down there to be emptied. So yeah, um, let's do passive provider chests. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to need a ton of these. Um, we'll need more circuits. What happened here? Oh, shoot. It doesn't just take from one side. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. Where's my... Stack filter inserter. Yeah, I think that's what I want. OK. 
Okay, get rid of that. Get my stack filter inserter. And you will whitelist. Uh, you click here? Yeah. Two red circuits. Uh, where are you? There you are. There we go. That's what we want. Alright, we're not getting many red circuits down here, though. Uh, that's because it's already feeding off the bottom. Or, no. Okay, never mind. This is this is the production line. So why aren't we getting any red circuits? Oh, because of plastic? Really? Plastic is in short supply, huh? Let's go figure out why that's the case. Man, I love how fast we run. I can't get over how awesome that is. Uh, here's plastic here. Oil again? Why is oil getting used up so much? I've got tons of oil. These are all empty. Did something happen with my oil um, pump jacks or something? This is empty. This is empty. Pretty much empty. Yeah, all of these are empty. Why? These are all pumping. And... It's trying to pump out this way. I thought this oil was going to the right, not this way. Expected resources is 20 per second. 14, 12, 15, 7. Jeez, why is that one so low? And 3, that one's even lower. Um, no, I guess all of these are hooked up to... here as well and then these go over to this other oil field this way to here and then yeah all of these but see all of these yeah they're just pumping to the right 2.9 6.3 why are these all so low Crude oil combined yield 990%. I don't understand why these are hardly pumping any oil. Has it always been that low? I mean, from what you guys told me, like a few pump jacks should be all the all that you need to fuel an entire mega base. So I don't get this. If I have three oil fields all feeding up here. Why is it production so low? I mean, I don't even have that many machines. This is making, uh, what was it? Petroleum or something? Yeah, petroleum gas. Well, I mean, they are filling up. Well, these are anyway. It's not super fast that they're filling up, but within a second or so. And what about these ones? 
These are going much slower. Um, and that's because this line, where was it? Uh, this oil line right here. No, the oil line comes into here first, into the plastic first. Uh, I don't know if I need a pump. If that would help things. I don't think so because, I mean, I was looking at the pump jacks at the source and it was just not that much oil. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Do I just need to add... Can you add modules to these, uh, these things? Let's go look at that real quick. Yeah, you can. Wait, why do I have a bonus production? Uh, I don't have any modules in here. Why does it give me... Oh, is it because of power? Does that have anything to do with it? I bet it does. No, we're okay at the moment. We have been low, but no, we're fine right now. So no, it's not power. All right, well, let's get um, productivity modules in here and see if it makes a difference. I can just grab them from right down here now. Uh, is it these ones? Yeah. Oh, I only have four. Yikes. These are pretty slow going. I got no red circuits here. Um, let's see if we can find a better spot to put this red circuit chest. Um, the problem is, yeah, I'd have to put another robo port. I guess I could put another robo port. That's not that big of a deal. Where were those up here? I have a whopping eight of them. That's not very many. Yeah, we're not getting many red circuits out of here because of the plastic. Hmm. Okay, well, let's put all of those in there. Also, I may as well get rid of these while I'm down in this section of the base. Uh, where were they? Over here. Can I put these on the other side of the belt? Yes, I can. All right. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense to move the red chest if I'm just not getting much output regardless. I mean, I could. I guess that will fix the problem later on when we have red circuits coming out more frequently. So that was where? This one? Oh, and I did a fast inserter. Don't I have to... Oh, no, you don't have to tell it anything. It just says, hey, here, take whatever's in here. Okay. All right. Um, I guess we need to limit this, though. I don't want it taking everything in this chest. Um, also, oh, they are coming. Wait a second. This doesn't have power, but they were still coming up here. How does that work? It's out of the logistic network, but they still came up here. Why did that happen? It seems like that would never happen. I'm confused about that. Uh, recharging after power outage. Low power. 
Huh. Why is there low power? Working. Weird. Okay, well now they're coming in droves. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was about. That was really weird. Anyway, um... Alright. Well, I can't really do what I wanted to do with the the these if they're not producing very fast. Unless I craft them by hand, which I was trying to avoid for once. Man, yeah, it takes 45 of each ingredient. That's crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Okay. I thought that it was the bots were taking it from this chest. I'm like, that's not possible. Let's get rid of these blue ones. Uh, where was it? Down here. And it was steel and iron gear wheels, right? Guess I'll keep my cliff explosives for now. Okay, steel and iron gear wheels. 11. Let's grab more. Eleven more. Okay, that's like 30 something. Okay, and they stack to 10. That's not very many. Okay, and then what did I say? Finally decide on? I, d I did these, right? Or I said I was going to do these. So I guess let's just make all 23 of those. That requires other ingredients. Um, still never put these copper plates, or I mean uh, copper wire anywhere in the chest. And the circuits. Oh, wait, why was it crafting wire? What in the world? I know I saw it down here. What did I click on that, that needed copper cable? Was it red circuits? No, I have those. I don't know. That was really weird. Anyway, all right. Let's get rid of these, if I can. Not really. Can put them here, I guess. It's going to take forever, though. I wonder... If I need to redo a bunch of this stuff. Oh, I don't know why I said I wonder. I do need to redo a bunch of this stuff. A bunch of these uh, factories. Anyway, um, getting distracted again. So the robo ports, the chests, I think. Oh, and then the bots. We'll need lots of bots too. Um, what do those take to make? I don't remember. I think I will only need construction robots, right? Which is green circuits. Maybe we'll take like, I don't know, would a hundred be enough to cover like this whole wall? I'm guessing not. Cause they're gonna get damaged over time and we'll lose a bunch and Etc. 
So maybe I'll grab um, four stacks. We'll start with maybe 200 and just kind of see how it goes. Um, where's my robot frames? Here they are. Yeah, 200 construction robots. And then, oh, um, do we need these also? Yeah, I bet we do. So let's make some more of these. I have no idea how many of these we need. Probably a whole bunch. Yeah, there's those copper cables again. Is that because of green circuits? Oh yeah, it is. Because it was going to craft green circuits. Alright, well that's like 200. I have no idea if that's going to be enough. Okay. So let's head down to the wall that got damaged, which was this one, right? Down here? Yeah. Alright, let's get the car. Let's get rid of that wood. You guys will be so proud I'm burning wood. I mean the tree is already destroyed, right? We may as well use it. Alright, and also I want to know... Actually, before I go down here, is there a way for me to turn off my own robots? Because I want to make sure that it's going to work. Is that what this does? Turning off personal logistics will stop logistic robots from being bringing requested items. It will also stop items from automatically being moved to the trash slots. Logistic robots will continue to empty the trash slots. That doesn't say anything about construction though. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe I need to be far enough away that they won't go, but I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Let's see, it was... Nope, see, there they go. Darn it. I didn't want that to happen. I wanted you guys to be coming from the... Roboport, man. Alright, well... Oh, I didn't... I didn't even think about the fact they need electricity. Oh, man. Well, that's not going to work at all. How do I want to do power? Um, I mean, I already have it here. Wouldn't be that much of a big deal to bring it this far. But that means I have to bring power to every wall I've made. This one would be a pain. That's really far. This one too. This is even further. Oh man. Okay. Well, how many big poles do I have on me? 21. Um... I guess we can follow the oil 
pipeline that we made. I don't think 21 is going to be enough, though. It's pretty far, even though they reach pretty far. I don't know, but it'll make it. Also, we can get rid of this wall now. Um, okay, so let's grab the big power pole. And... I guess it doesn't reach that far at first. It only reaches far if it's going from big pole to big pole. Not from a regular pole to a big pole. really hard to place these while you're driving a car. I'm gonna just get out of the car. Alright, let's go. We walk pretty fast now, so it's not too bad. Oh shoot, I moved the... Moved it upwards. Oh well, I guess we'll just do this. Uh, let's go up. Okay, that wasn't too bad, I suppose. Alright, so then how far back can we put these? Because we don't want these in spitter range. Um, well, it can be anywhere in the green, right? So yeah, we could have them like back here. I think that'll be okay. So then we just need to make sure, how do I stop the, the square from showing for me? Do I have to take my armor off? That <laughs> Roboport cannot be used as armor. Oh, no. Ah, that just dropped a bunch of stuff on the ground. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, okay. It's off, so I guess it's, the damage has already been done, so we may as well try it now. Um, so I wanted to grab... Do I ha still have them? Yeah this yeah okay well at least now it doesn't show so yeah then it needs to be uh like i mean we don't want it here obviously maybe here Although, I guess if we have them that far apart, they can't share items. So maybe that's not so good. Maybe we do need to actually connect them like this. Yeah. That way, they can share walls and repair packs and whatever. Um... Is there a way to customize these? If I like control click or shift click or something, alt click, no. Isn't there blueprint, toggle alt mode, copy, paste, undo. Oh, undo deconstruction of RoboPort. Oh, it's just undo the last thing you did. Okay. Cut. Import string. I don't know what that does. Toggle. Oh. Toggle exoskeleton. Is that what I could have used? Oh, and to toggle personal roboport. Oh. Well, geez. That's, that's exactly what I needed. Now, what's this little thing? Oh, you can turn these off for what you don't need. Oh, that's nice. 
All right, well, I'm going to leave alt mode on all the time. Don't need undo. Don't need copy and paste and cut. I don't know what import string is, so we'll get rid of that. Um, blueprints. I'll probably use blueprints eventually. Okay, nice. That's better. Um, anyway, I thought that you could... I thought one of you told me that you could um, have different like upgrades and stuff like that. And I assume it would be the same for deconstruction or like you could say, I only want to upgrade, you know, assemblers from level one to level two or something. I don't know how you get to that. Whoops. It's not space bar. <laughs> Uh, okay. Because, yeah, what I wanted to, to do was I wanted to say, hey, can you only pick up stuff on the ground and not touch these rocks? Um, I don't know. Let's see if there's anything in the controls about it. D... Make new deconstruction planner. Oh, Alt D does something other than just hit, click the button. I wasn't hitting Alt D. I did see that right here. It says deconstruction planner Alt D, but I thought that was just basically the same thing as clicking the button. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know how you do that or if you can do that. Um, I guess you guys will have to let me know. Because, yeah, I'd like to just say, hey, don't deconstruct these rocks. That's so cool, though. Awesome. That made quite the mess. Wow. There we go. And then is there anything I missed? Uh, yep. There is right above this rock. Right there. All right. Okay, so, um, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna have to, wait, why doesn't it show the orange thing? Is that because it doesn't have power? Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll put it by the power pole then. Now does it? Yeah, it does now. Okay. So yeah, I guess we'll just do that I ended up deconstructing that rock anyway all right and then we'll go here now these show it even though there's no power to it what's up with that I don't get why it does it for some and not others I cannot see if it's connecting down there. Yes, right here is... I think that's overlapping right there. It's really hard to tell. And then we'll get one there. And I guess we'll have to put one kind of there. Okay. So then we got to get power to all these things. And I probably need to go down the other way too. Yep. Yep. 
I do. Man, these trees are going to make things a lot more complicated. Okay, and then we'll just put the last one, like... Uh... Well... No, I guess that's good. That covers... It doesn't cover the very last little sliver of wall. <laughs> okay, well, just for safety's sake, we'll add one more there. Okay. So yeah, now we gotta run power. Now, how far do these stretch? Okay, not that far. I guess I'll use a smaller pole to connect that one. Okay, that one should be good. Alright, and then let's get a small one for this one. Really? Really? <laughs> oh, how sad. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Uh, Alright, and then we gotta go the other way. I didn't even see that one there. Okay, we'll go there. I'm out. Of course I am. Alright, back to base. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Uh, we can leave that there. Now, big poles. What do we need for that? Copper, steel, and iron sticks. Steel is here. How many of each? Five, five, and eight. Okay. So that'll give me 20. Or no, these are the ones that needed eight. So we'll do like three stacks, maybe. Should give me a decent amount. Fifty-four. Still crafted more of these. Okay. That's good enough. Okay. Car is where? Right here. And I left off right here. I guess I could have left the car again. Oh well. Um, I guess we'll just do another pull there. <laughs> I 
I'll do a small pull for this one, I guess. Yeah. This one is going to be tricky because it's right in the middle of the forest. Hey, I didn't remove any trees, though. I guess we could power these radars now with actual power. So that's a bonus. All right, and then up here. There we go. All right, cool. So now if I put down a provider, passive provider chest, say right here, and I put like 27 bots in there, and I put repair packs in here, and then I go shoot that. Oh wait, I gotta turn off toggle personal robo port. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Awesome. Okay, so now if I have bots, say, in this one, oh, repair packs can go right in here. Oh, really? Well, that's even better. Um, well, except, yeah, I was wondering if I don't have repair packs down here and this one gets damaged. Okay, so they do go up here to grab a repair pack then. Yes, they do. And then do they just bring it back to the closest robo port? Yeah, okay. Interesting. Well, that's great. Okay, so yeah, I should have made way more repair packs then. I guess we'll do like 50 in each one. I can't really do 50 in all of them. I think there's too many for that. Probably not enough bots either. But yeah, if we put them in all of these down the line... Um, I should also have brought pipes and more turrets too, because that is an even bigger issue where if one of those breaks in the line, then the whole wall stops working. Guess we'll do 25. Getting a little bit slim pickings here. I hope I'm almost done. Oops. No, you go back. Yeah, we're almost out. Oh, why don't you have power? Oh, really? Man, those things don't reach far at all, do they? Alright, so we'll put those in those. And yeah, that should help with repairs. But yeah, if something gets destroyed, then we still have a big problem. Um, so I could just put... 
a provider chest here and put walls in there. And then if I were to do that, yeah, it replaces them. Awesome. Okay, cool. That is exactly what I wanted. So, yeah, we just need to place these provider chests kind of all over the place. Which is a little ugly. I mean, I guess maybe I could put them next to the roboports, but I feel like it might be better to share one between them. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter too much. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But yeah, it'd be like right here in between the two squares. I don't know. I guess we could do that. Okay, that should be good, I think. We just need to uh, bring pipes and turrets down here as well. So let's go get those. I picked my car up right, I believe so. Since I have it in my hand right now, I would say yes I did. I think I did only straight pipes, but I know in some places I did do the underground pipes. I just don't think I did any on that particular wall. Oh, I had pipes on me. I could have put them in there, but I did not have the flamethrower turrets. So we probably don't need many. I don't suspect that. Well, maybe we do. Actually, I don't know. I, I don't know how frequently we're going to get attacked at the wall down there. So far, we've only been attacked one time, but that's also because the pollution cloud has not reached uh, any biter nests for quite a while. All right, so yeah, let's just throw, maybe we'll do like half a stack of pipes and can I do like, I guess we can do that. I was thinking we'd just do 10. Yeah, there, that's better. 10 in each one should be okay, I think. So half a stack of pipes and then 10 half a stack of pipes and 10 there we go I put some in here? Yep. This one has them. This one does not. Uh, 
I didn't put a chest anywhere around here, did I? I guess I put one right here. That's probably fine. Half a stack. And I guess that was it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, yeah, that's all we need to do. And then I guess let me just double check to make sure there's no underground pipes, which I don't think there are. Well, I guess there is here, actually. So, do I have a... I guess this is the nearest provider chest. Let's put a, another one right here. And in here we'll put, uh, I don't know, 25, sure. Just in case this stuff here gets destroyed. I doubt it would, but you never know. The, spi the spitters can spit that far, so maybe they would. But yeah, let's do a quick run up here. Out of the way, cliff. Yeah, they're all regular pipes. All right, so we can get rid of these. If I go into map mode, can I see? Yeah, this whole thing. Okay. This is a bit silly, isn't it? Let's just put it here. There. And then this one, we'll put it here. Do have coverage on this whole wall with the current placements. This one I guess we'll put right there. And I don't have an another one. Uh no, I guess not. Let's just put one more right on the end here. There we go. Cool. Okay. Well, that does it for that wall. That should be fully protected now. And yeah, as you can see, there's zero pollution. So I guess the biters have no reason to attack me down here yet. But as soon as the pollution spreads past the wall, it's going to be a big problem. But we should be ready for it. So yeah, we're going to have to run power up here. I guess next episode we'll do this one. And basically we have to repeat what we just did again for all the other walls. Because I want them all to be protected. Um, and I hope we can figure out the, the plastic solution. I really don't understand what's going on with the, the oil. I'm kind of stumped on that one. I hope you guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong because it seems like oh shoot where did I leave my car it seems like it should be working normally but we just seem to hardly be getting any oil at all unless it's just all being used up but like I said we didn't even have that many machines so I don't know I really don't know but anyway that is going to do it for this episode so Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.